such a blessing. They're such a blessing. Um, I um, I want us to pray uh, here, and I'm going to take a few minutes, but not more than that, by the grace of God, because we have brethren here tonight to minister. I want them to be free and have freedom, and uh, be led by the Lord. Um, I honor them. I honor the ministry. I honor ministers that come to this church. I do not ever want a minister shunned, neglected, uh, touched not my anointed, uh, honor ministers, honor their place, honor their ministries, um, and uh, lift them up. And we're very honored to have these men of God with us tonight. That's what. Yes, that's why is. this yes. assembly has stayed in this city 72 years. Yes. 72 years. Yes. We're in our 72nd year in this city as an assembly. And God has honored us because we honored the first man, Brother Jim Roberts. I call his name tonight. He was a wonderful man of God. He was a wonderful pastor. You who knew him felt like you were walking next to the Holy Spirit when you walked up close to him. A man of great faith. Great faith. And he loved this church. And I've loved this church the years that I've been with it and you have loved it, and God has blessed us to be able to be here. Uh, I want to quickly, uh, we, I just came from Tampa General, uh, just got in around 7.15 or something like that here on the grounds, and um, Brother John Stewart and I went up, got a telephone call this afternoon. Um, I was visiting with Brother Richard Hand while I was talking with him, and Brother Jerry uh, Connolly in uh, the uh, in the North, I want to say Northport, but uh, Port Charlotte Assembly. Uh, that's where they belong. That's where they go. Um, he was up in a, on a ladder cutting um, a palm frond loose from a palm tree, and he had one of these high-speed knives uh, that cut. He was cutting with it. And it flipped back, uh, get it in the right hand, and it hit something, flipped back, and took this finger completely off, and took part of this finger, and he and mutilated this finger some. So uh, they called us, and we they, they flighted him to Tampa General, and we went up, saw them, had a prayer with them. And we want to pray for Brother Jerry Conley tonight. Yeah. Lost the index finger, the finger next to it, part of it, and uh, has a mutilated hand. Uh, so let's let's pray for Brother Jerry Conley tonight. Really pray. And um, then uh, we we just after that phone call, I got another phone call while we were still visiting. Uh, Sister Mary Coffey, is that her last name? Crawford. Crawford. Mary Crawford, uh, the sweet elderly sister, silver-haired sister that sits right back here um, with her daughter, Jackie. And all of us know ja Jackie. Where is Jackie? Jackie in the back? Oh, I'm so glad to see you, Jackie. Um, her mother, and they're so close, and they love each other. And uh, she's such a godly woman, Sister Crawford is. I mean, an example. I tell you, she is an example of a Christian woman. And uh, she fell and broke her hip. And she's up in years. And uh, they think they may have to do certain, did they say they're going to do something? talk to the orthopedic surgeon because I had waited there all day at the hospital and finally I got a phone call from him and he looked at her x-rays and he said to me I gotta give God the glory because he's so awesome thank you Jesus yes. he said he said to me he said if my mother had to fall and get um, a um, what do you call it fractured <laughs> fractured hip. He said, that's exactly 
where I would want her to get that break where your mother got mm -hmm. hers. He said, because tomorrow morning, he said, we're going to go in there. It's going to take me 15 minutes to do what I have to do. He said, and the next day, she's going to be up walking. And I give God the glory, because no man can do it, but God can do it. Sister Misty Borman is upstairs tonight. Um, re she is home, isn't she? Uh, recovering from emergency gallbladder surgery and uh, getting through that. And let's keep Misty in prayer, asking God to help her, strengthen her, let her be healed. And then Brother and Sister Edwards, I want to keep them in prayer. That's our uh, couple, elderly couple. We this them, they need prayer. Sister Phyllis Kinzer, especially, pray that she will get proper medical care and that God, surely God is watching over her. One week out of the hospital with a blocked kidney and not absolutely not one medical person connecting with her. After being in the hospital, being diagnosed, being seen by doctors, knowing she has this kidney blockage, not one follow-up from one medical person. Um, that's atrocious. That makes me rather stirred uh, that, that we live in the richest country in the world and have such floundering uh, in medical practice as that is. Uh, but uh, we're going to pray that God will help Sister Phyllis. It looks like we're going to have to pray her through to victory. Looks like the church is going to have to pray her through. Pray her through to victory. Amen. She has none from the medical world. Uh, pray. She'll be. Uh, I want you, uh, every one of you, to pray. Pray, pray for Sister Phyllis Kenzer that God will help her this coming week and raise her up and get a, a kidney unblocked. We want to pray for uh, Sister Judy Shaw tonight and ask the Lord to help her also. So these are these are prominent needs and uh, others besides that, but we're going to pray. And uh, Brother Shorey, you have this lady with you tonight. I believe that you want us to pray for her. All right. You want a couple of the brethren to come back, lay hands on her back there with you. And uh, she, uh, so would you do that, Brother Stewart and Brother Wallace? And continue to pray for Brother Wallace also. Amen. I go back and pray with this child. And why don't the rest of us rise up and pray right now and believe God together. Everybody, believe God together. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Name of Jesus. Oh, Lord, let the work be done tonight. Let the work be done tonight. For all of these are sick. And all of these are afflicted. And all of these that have burdens. And all of these that have needs. for the victory to Sister Mary. We thank you for the victory. Oh, be tonight with Brother Jerry. Be with him in the loss of his fingers. Oh, God, be with these that are afflicted in our midst tonight. Be with Sister Phyllis Kendra and raise her up, Lord, and let her become victory and power and anointing of the Holy Ghost. Be with your people in this hour. Be with your people in this hour. Oh God, oh God, be with your people. Be with your people. Hallelujah! Praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Be with your people, Lord. Amen, 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 amen. Touch them, raise them up, give you the praise. Praise and victory for him. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name.
Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name. And everybody said, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord and praise the Lord. Amen, amen, amen. Praise God, praise God. Bless God.